Aloha beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is Kiyomi today's video I'm going to be doing a somewhat of an unboxing y'all literally just got this package today and I did a video video and I didn't like it at all so I'm redoing this video for you guys so the box is already open I do apologize but let's just go ahead and talk about this brand new purse so as you can already tell from the thumbnail I recently purchased this Gucci Ophidia small shoulder bag this right here you guys um is adorable like so a little backstory um I recently had a birthday January 21st okay shout out to my January babies and I wanted to give myself a luxury handbag as I'm entering into my 30s I'm literally 31 I just turned 31 okay I've recently been into luxury handbags and so my husband recently gifted me the Alma BB and I did a video on that I'll let you guys know in about a year how I feel how I feel about it but I've been carrying that purse for a good month now and I recently just transitioned into my MCM purse that I have here um, so I took all the items that I wanted out of the the MCM and I put them into this Gucci bag that just came in the mail today so i wanted to give myself a luxury handbag for my birthday and so originally i was looking into the louis vuitton graceful pm but i watched a couple of videos on the graceful pm and i came across this one youtuber and she was talking about well she was comparing the half crescent louis vuitton bag with the gucci crescent bag and so i was like okay well let me look into gucci so i went on the gucci website and I came, came across this bag and it was in my price range and I was like, okay, I'm going to go with this one. So this is the Gucci Ophidia small shoulder bag. They show it as a shoulder bag where it's supposed to go on your shoulder here and you're supposed to carry it like on your shoulder. But me personally, I prefer and I'm sure everyone else prefers it as a crossbody. It's just more feasible that way. So you guys, like I said, this recently just came in the mail today and I'm really excited. Um, like I said, I put all the items that I wanted from my MCM tote bag into this purse and I'll share with you guys what all I have in here. But before I do that, let's just talk about this bag. So this is the Gucci Ophidia small shoulder bag. Once again, you have um, here the Gucci logo. Um, this is all leather and the straps real leather and the trimming here and then of course you have your red and green going all the way across to the other side as well and these are the italy colors um so yeah and then the canvas here this right here is a canvas so i watched numerous videos on youtubers talk about this purse and a couple of them have said that this feels like a little thin and i mean i can see what they're talking about like compared to let's say this purse right here this is a canvas this is a little bit thicker this right here is like i don't know how to explain it um i don't know how to explain it y'all not faux but it's just it's different but i still enjoy it i, I feel like it's going to hold up to its name and to the brand um, and then on the inside you have like a cotton lining like a white off-white cotton lining you have your gucci um hang tag here and then you have one zipper pocket on the inside which has the gucci tag along with the um i guess serial number here to authenticate it as a real gucci bag i paid 13.90 with tax around 1500 dollars for this bag and that was actually my um budget was fifteen hundred dollars i was gonna get the speedy 25 because that one was definitely my budget and i was again looking into the graceful pm that one is a little bit pricey it's like 17.90 almost two thousand dollars with tax but i was gonna ask hubby to pay for the rest but i settled for this and i'm really excited this is like this is going to be my everyday bag you guys when it came in the mail the strap was undone and i do have it on the very last strap for us taller gals i'm only five six so i'm i'm pretty average um but according to the u.s measurements 
I guess five three is the average nowadays, which I, I never knew that. I always I always thought five five was the average height for a woman, and like six six feet or five ten. I feel like six feet is like the should be the average for men, but nowadays it seems like there's more short people than ever. So I feel like it's going to be a tradition that I get a Louis Vuitton for Christmas and then I get a maybe a Gucci purse for my birthday. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, um, let's just go ahead and talk about what's on the inside of this purse. And I'll show you guys some mod shots as well. So I have my tissue. Really, honestly, I don't feel like it's necessary for me to do this because everything that's in here is in my What's My Alma BB bag. But for those of you guys who haven't watched it, I'll go ahead and do it for you. I have my compact mirror. I have some hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. I have my lip balm. I have my NYX lip gloss here. I have my travel perfume. This is the Prada Paradox. It smells amazing. I have my um, replica Louis Vuitton little pouch here of petty cash that I keep. Um, I have a sanitary napkin. I have my keys for work, which shouldn't even be in here. Um, and I have my Emily wallet. And last but not least, I have some brand new AirPods that my husband recently gifted me because um, he upgraded his phone. He has iPhone 14 Pro or Plus, I believe. And I was like, I really want some AirPods now because I had lost my other ones about two years ago and he gave me some headphones from Amazon and I really love those headphones but I really wanted some airpods so he um went ahead and bought me some airpods recently so your girl is back to her airpods when honestly I like the other earphones but I just like airpods you know what I'm saying so that is everything that I have in this purse you guys and let me put everything back in here and then I'll show you guys some mod shots So here is where the purse sits on me again. Like I said, I'm five, six, okay, on a good day. Um, <laughs> if I don't get any rest, I'm about five, five, because you know you you grow when you sleep. It, it's so true, you grow, you grow when you sleep. And I, I be sleeping real deep, y'all, I be sleeping real deep. So here is where it falls. It's absolutely adorable. This is gonna be my everyday bag. Maybe for the next couple of months, I gave my Omo BB a rest because I don't want to damage that purse. So this is how it looks. Let me throw it to the back. Not too big, not too small. It's perfect, you guys. Perfect. So yeah, you all, that is my unboxing and little review on my brand new handbag. And again, I'll come back in a, about a year or so and let you guys know how it's holding up. And just to show you guys what all came with the purse, it came in, I'm sorry, it came with this uh, bag that says Gucci here. And I don't know what's written on here. I don't know, I have to look at, oh, it's like zodiac signs, I guess. Oh no, ma'am, we don't believe in zodiac signs. So. I don't know, I may end up giving this away because we don't do that. Um, it came with the, this envelope with my receipt and everything in here, just a thank you card. Um, inside of the bag, it came with like these booklets, I guess, with information on the purse. And last but not least, you guys, it came in this box here and then the inside of the box is where the purse is at. Like I said, I had, I had filmed earlier and I didn't like it, any of the footage, so I ended up re reshooting everything, so I do apologize. But I recently opened this up today, you guys, and I'm so excited. If you're looking into purchasing this, I, I highly recommend it for the most part. It, it looks like a very um, great quality Gucci purse. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for your girl. And as always, I hope you guys have a very blessed rest of the week in Jesus' name. I'll see you in my next video.